Hey guys, what's up? It's Dominique, aka Legally Bomb, and welcome back to my channel. Um, before we get into the video, if you have not already, please be sure to subscribe. And then after you subscribe, hit the little bell next to the subscription button so that when I post videos, you guys get the notification. So it's been a while since I've been in the pink wall. I've been doing a lot of vlogging lately, kinda, sorta. But today we are doing a sneaker haul. We have one, two, three, four, four pair, and then another pair right here. That's not in a box. Oops. But yeah, I've been, um, your girl kind of went a little bit sneaker crazy. And low key, like, I kind of feel guilty for buying all these. And so, I like, I low key might take them back. I don't know yet. Because I have a really hard time parting with things, especially my shoes. So, hopefully I can... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And this is an unboxing, so I don't even know how these fit. I hope they fit, but we're going to see. So the first pair of shoes I have are, um, I don't even, I honestly don't even know what these are called. Okay, so let me give you a backstory. So every year in Charlotte, they have this like huge Adidas discount sale or whatever, and they put all, well, this is my first year going, and so they put all the sneakers on tables around the whole, it was like at an expo center. So it's like sneakers by size around the whole um, venue or whatever. And then they have a couple sneaker tables in the middle. And then around that is a bunch of boxes with like kids clothes, women's clothes, men's clothes, duffel bags. And you're just like in the boxes going for what you know. So that's where these Adidas came from. I don't know what, right now I don't know what they're called. Let me see. Called, they say Ark and W. Maybe that's what they're called. And these are a size seven and a half. So I really wear an eight and a half. But every time I buy Adidas, I have to get a smaller size. So that's why I was like, okay. I put them in my bag. But I was like, uh, I don't know if they're going to fit. But I put them in my bag. I just held on to them. And I kept doing my little shopping or whatever. So then by the time it was time to put them on, I mean to check out, I tried them on. And they were, I mean, I could have did an eight. If they would have had an eight. That would have been perfect. You know, my toe is a little close to the top. Not even gonna lie. And I got long toes. Judging mama. I already had this type of sneaker saved. I don't remember if it was this color or a darker blue. So when I saw them at the event, the discount event, I was like, oh my God, I gotta get them. But they only had like seven and a half. So that's why I was like, okay, whatever, gotta get them. And they were only $40. And I think they originally are like 100 150 Far more than $40, so I had to grab them. And then I love the, like, the little lace-up got going on. And I love a sneaker that you can just slide on. These are, like, I don't even know what color this is. I love this little blue. I don't have a blue sneaker. Not this color blue. I do have blue sneakers, but not this color blue. But, yeah, these are, um, I guess they call it the Arc and W. I don't know. I have the actual name somewhere on the screen. But, yeah, okay, so these are the first pair of Adidas. And yeah, I actually really love these. I'm actually excited to wear them. Cause at and also at the Adidas event, I got um two like jerseys. I got one jersey that says like Jeep. It's in a real cute tan color. And I got like a neon shirt that's like this color. That's like the um what do you call that? Not mesh, but that breathable. It's gonna come to me after this. It's one of those. So I'm gonna wear these with the neon. I know that's kind of odd, but I just kind of like pair my sneakers with like offset colored if that makes sense so yeah can't wait to wear these absolutely love these so the next pair of sneakers i got are what are these oh a pair of air max nike air max ones i do not have any air max ones okay so I'm, i got another story for these i saw these first on finish line but i just kept holding off like okay i'm not gonna get them i'm not gonna get them i'm not gonna get them and so then i saw them I forgot they were on sale on finish line I see in my size on finish line so I just googled them to find them elsewhere so I found them at this place called Hibbit Sports I don't know how like, if that's like a southern store or if it's everywhere but it's this place called Hibbit Sports kind of like Dick's but a little bit more urban and so they also had okay let me tell y'all something about me I will shop like I love to shop but I do shop I like to shop when there's a deal or a discount involved. You know, I don't make purchases without shop searching for a coupon first. So, with Hibbit Sports, 
when you sign up for their email list, they text you a $10 off coupon. And these are already on sale for $75, right? So, with my coupon, and they were already on sale for $75, it was like $65, $70 after tax. I don't know. It's a win in my book. How much I need them? They originally suggested retail one ten. So that's a that's a w, that's a win for me. So they are just these tan Nike Air Max ones. The part that I really love is this green detail, this little piece of green detail. I actually already wore these one time. I wore these with um a bliss black and white um jumpsuit. I'll probably wear it again because other people didn't see me in that fit, so I gotta give it to them again. And I didn't take a picture in it, so it really don't count. But yeah, it's just this tan with the black. This is a black suede instead of just like a black leather. The check is leather, but this black part here is suede. And we got tan, tan laces, and a little peekaboo green. That's really what I like about it, the green. And I also don't have any tan shoes, any tan sneakers. So I really, really, really love these. And when I put them on, they were super comfortable, super, super comfortable. And I got these in an eight and a half. But honestly, I probably could have went with an eight. But when I put a sock on, it'll fit better. But actually, I don't really wear socks a lot. I'm not a big fan of socks. I'm a true eight and a half. Like, I really wear eight and a half. Sometimes I think I might wear nine. I think my foot is growing. But yeah, absolutely love these. If you can cop these, I would... Highly recommend these. Alright, this yeah. next pair are from online. I got these from Finish Line. And I had also been eyeing these. These are the W Nike EXP 114. I've been wanting a pair of these. I love the color black with the neon and then that little piece of pink right there. I love a shoe that's like interestingly colored just so I can, you know, kind of challenge myself as to what to pair it with. Because like I said, I kind of don't, I don't like to match. I kind of like to do things a little bit offset a little bit. Like what color will complement, um, you know, the color of the sneaker. So yeah, these are Nike EXP 114. Let's try them on. Because I have not, I'm, I'm just opening them for the first time myself. I should really put them on my left because that's my biggest foot. Okay, I got it on. It is a little snug. Okay, so for these I paid, they were on sale for $55. And Keon had, um, what did he have? He had a birthday coupon. So he wasn't going to use it. He knows his girl loves a nice pair of shoes. So, I'll use um, the $10 off coupon. But after shipping and tax, that was right back at $55. It was $10 off, but it was, ooh. I don't know about these. That toe is tapping at the front. But they're comfortable. I'm not going to take these back. I'm going to keep them. These, I'm not buying no more sneakers. I'm done till the summertime. Because this is really enough. But this is the left one. I guess it was on, there was in a, um. This was the display shoe. So the Nike EXP, I said 114. EXP X14. And I got these also in an eight and a half. But low key, now that I tried them on, like, if you order these online, I would say, like, go a half size up. Because, like, I can't really wear no sock with this. If I wear a sock, it's going to be too tight. But I like this shoe. I like the color. That color is five. That's fine. Alright, so the next pair, these are, these are Vapor Max. This is, oh, these, okay, I know what these are. These are the, um, oh, yes, I'm happy about these. I'm happy about these. Oh, I've been waiting for these to come out since I was in high school. Because back in high school, I really was not into sneakers. You cannot pay me to wear a sneaker. I only had like two, three pairs. But now, I prefer sneakers to anything else. Like, my mom asked me the other day. She was like, have you, did you just stop buying heels? Yes. I have one in every color. I don't need no more. Heels do not excite me the way a good sneaker does. But I wish they did because heels are far cheaper than sneakers are. So, these are the Jordan 6s, the infrareds. Just um, 
I don't know when the last time this shoe came out. All I know is the last time it came out, I did not get them. So this time, I had to get them. I was it. I was like on kids Foot Locker, Foot Locker, Tim's. I like refreshed and refreshed and nothing was working. And then, who did I order these from? Foot Locker. Foot Locker? Yeah, I ordered these from Foot Locker. So, yes. Just the infrared sixes. And I got these in a six and a half. This is a U shoe. I don't think you can really get these. So, if you was interested in purchasing these, oh, it's over for you, you know? But, uh, I hope these fit, because I swear, I think, come on with the difficult lacing. I really think my foot grew, because I normally wear, like, a six and a half, um, in sneakers, but, in kids' sneakers, but as of lately, that six and a half ain't cutting it. I be needing, like, a seven, so I hope these fit, because ain't no time to be taking them back. It's straight. It's a straight fit. Fun fact. Pro tip. If your sneakers, like, you know, your foot grows and you bought sneakers like eight some years ago, just take the insole out and that'll give you a little bit of room. Because I got a couple pair. My, a couple pair of ones. My toe be tapping at the front. I had to take them insoles out because they don't tell them when they come back again. And I got to have my ones. But no, I tried one. I tried one on my big foot, which is my left foot, my bigger foot. And that's straight. They're good. So, yes, these are the infrared sixes, and I paid full retail. $140, and I think after tax and shipping and whatever else, I think that was like close to $150, $160. I don't know. I didn't care. I had to have them, like, no questions asked. Like, I had to have them. Also, come with a little Jordan sticker. I don't really do nothing with those, but. That is that pair. And then this is, I know what these are. I don't know how these gonna fit. I low key might take these bags because I can't believe I paid for these. But I love them. There's also another shoe that I want instead of these. So these are some Nike Vapor Max 2s. But these are Cheetah Print. But now that I'm looking at them, I mean, they fire, but, like, that cheetah print look kind of cheap. Oh, mm, mm, mm. And then that's also another pair that I want, but they are sold out in my size. So, I might take these back and get the other ones. But, yeah, it's just some Nike Vapor Max. These are a size eight and a half. I hope these fit because Vapor Max are a very weird shoe. Yeah, they straight. I do have another pair of Vapor Max. This is not my first pair. A really weird shoe because of these little bubbles on the top. So when you're walking in them, um, if you can feel that you're walking on bubbles, you don't. It doesn't feel like you're walking flat on the ground. And I got these in an eight and a half. They retail for one ninety, but my mom gets military discounts, so I think we pay one sixty eight, one seventy for these. Now that I'm looking at them, like, I like them, but I like the other pair better. I might not keep these. I might take these back. I can, I'm not. All right, guys, that's it for this sneaker haul. Let me know if you guys like these hauls or if you guys would like to see, like, how I might style these shoes or something of that nature. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And before you exit or after you exit, whenever, make sure you are subscribed. Your girl is so close to 500. So let's subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to Legally Bomb. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.